There's a splashdown. <laughs> Those cheers marking a major victory for SpaceX after a successful test flight 10 of its Starship rocket. The mega rocket Elon Musk hopes will bring humans to Mars one day, blasted off over South Texas skies Tuesday night, creating a dazzling display of colors, and more importantly, meeting critical milestones. There we go including deploying test Starlink satellite payloads for the very first time, one after another. There goes another one. It comes after a series of setbacks for the company. Whoa! Whoa! In June, the uncrewed mega rocket exploding during a static fire test on the ground. Oh my God. It appears there has been a Ship 36 just blew up. Ship 36 just blew up. In May, the upper stage made it to space, but then broke apart over the Indian Ocean. You can see we've lost several engines and we've lost attitude control of the vehicle. In March and in January, the rocket exploding just minutes after launch, raining debris down over the Caribbean and forcing the FAA to pause air traffic. But this week, there's our flip. Starship Test Flight 10 proving in a literal trial by fire. There's a buoy that it could stick the landing. One step closer to the ship's ultimate goal. We're aiming for ultimately thousands of ships to be built per year, which is what's needed in order to uh, construct a city on Mars that is self-sustaining. A cosmic win proving in this case, sometimes the 10th time's itself, the charm. Specifically those after. Yes, tenth, apparently it was the charm. So Marissa, how, how does this actually, how does it impact the timeline of getting to Mars? Well, it does in several ways, Craig. So we do know that Elon Musk has expressed his optimism, shall we say, that we can see Starship make its way to Mars without any humans on board by the end of 2026, which, as we all know, is coming up kind of close, right? It's already almost September. But remember, SpaceX is busy. They have their hands on a lot of projects. It's not just this mission to Mars. It's also the Artemis missions to the moon that we've been talking about. So with all of these Starship developments, these delays we're seeing, the last we've heard is they are still aiming for some time in 2027, but guys, with these delays, don't be surprised if we see that pushed back a little bit as well. Keep our ears open. All right. A spectacular sight over the skies of Texas, nonetheless. Though. Marissa, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, you can catch the Today Show every morning on NBC or take today when you're on the go. Just follow the Today podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen.